Hi, eighth grade. Last week we talked about resumes. This week we're talking about applications and how to fill those out. Um, this directions video will be for those of you who cannot be in class live with us this week for whatever reason, or if you're just super eager and you wanna work ahead, that is totally fine too. You'll need this video to fill out this week's assignments. We will be going over this in class this week and you'll be able to ask questions, um, comments, anything you have. We'll cover it then and then you will have time to work on your assignments. But if you can't be there, go ahead and watch this video. So, how to fill out job applications, covering a few things on the sheet that you see in front of you. So when you pick up an application, if you go to a place of business to pick up an application, first impressions are super important and you only get to make them one time. You always want to look your best, super presentable whenever you go pick up an application because for one, they're seeing you for the first time and for two, um, they might need somebody really quickly and they might ask you for an interview right on the spot. So you always want to be prepared and looking your best whenever you go to pick up an application. Does that always happen? No, but can it happen? Yes, and it does sometimes. Always make sure you read super carefully. Know what is being asked on the form before you start to fill it out because sometimes they will um, judge how well you follow directions based on what you fill out on your application. So definitely make sure that you read super carefully to answer the questions the best you possibly can. Fill in all the blanks. Now that does not mean be untruthful. You want to tell the truth always because if you don't, that will be found out. So tell the truth, but you do need to answer all of the questions. Do not leave anything blank because it just doesn't look good. You can always write in slash a non-applicable if it does not apply to you or you don't have anything to fit in that category. So rather than leaving it blank, in slash a is your better option. When using a writing utensil to fill this out, if you are not typing, you always want to use a pen with blue or black ink. I love funky colors, a lot of people do too, but unfortunately on applications you do need to look professional, which is blue or black ink. Okay, a lot of times on applications, they will have position desired. You want to avoid using the word anything. You want to put down specific jobs that you might be interested in to show that you do have goals in mind. And can that change later? Absolutely, but you just don't wanna put the word anything because you do wanna look like you have goals that you're working towards. Salary expected. If the application asks you this, it's always best to just put the word negotiable. That way you're not selling yourself short, but you're also not putting something out of reach that they're not even going to look at you. So putting the word negotiable uh, leaves that open-ended. Personal information. If you do not have a phone, then you don't have a phone number, then you need to list a phone number where you can be reached parent, grandparent, guardian, whoever you live with, because they will want to get in contact with you. And if they can't get in contact with you, they're gonna skip you and go to someone else. So if you don't have a phone, make sure you list somewhere where you can be reached. Just like whenever we talked about um, for resumes, for education experiences, you always list the most recent first and work your way down. And you can always put that you plan to attend this high school, you plan to attend this college um, so that it shows what you're going to do. Work experience, same thing as resumes. You list the most recent first and work your way down backwards. And make sure that the skills that you put on your application, if it asks you for special skills or interests, just like our resume did, make sure that what you're putting on the application applies for the job that you would be applying for. So if you have really great skills in art, but the job doesn't have anything to do with art, you might wanna put other skills that you're great at, okay? So always make sure you put skills that are gonna highlight you for the job that you're applying for. All right, if you have had a previous job, they will ask you to list those jobs out, and almost always they will ask you your reason for leaving that job. And this is where it can get kind of tricky. Uh, you definitely do not wanna lie, always tell the truth, but you also don't want to be seen in a negative light. So if you left your previous job because your boss was a jerk, that might be totally true. But should you put that? 
No, because they don't know both sides of the story. They don't know your side or why you think that. And it might just look like you don't get along well with people. So things that would be a good idea to put, reason for leaving might be school conflict, conflicting hours, better opportunities for advancement, lack of work, seasonal employment, other opportunities elsewhere, something uh, that shows that you are still looking for a job, you worked well there, you enjoyed your time there, but you're ready for a change. References. We've talked about this last week when we talked about resumes, but always ask your reference first before you list them on an application because almost always the jobs do get in contact with your references. They will call them or email them and you don't want the person that you listed to be totally surprised and caught off guard if somebody calls asking about you. You also want to ask people to be your references that are going to speak highly of you. And once again, these are people that you're not related to, but maybe were your coaches or your teachers or a club sponsor, anyone that has worked well with you that can say some positive things about you. And lastly, whenever you are ending an application, it will almost always ask you to sign your name. Make sure that you are not printing out your name, that you are signing in cursive. Um, because that just shows professionalism. You do not want to just write your name out. All right? If you have questions about any of this, concerns, feel free to send me an email or ask me in class later this week. I look forward to working on these applications with you. Um, as you're filling them out, though, you will not have any employer um, experience so far. So for that, instead of leaving it blank or putting in slash A, I want you to make something up. So have fun with it. Get creative. What jobs have you had? <laughs> Just make sure that you list them with the recent date first and work your way back. Even though you're making those up, I want you to follow those and practice those skills. As you go through, you do not need to put your real social security number. You just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or make up a number if you would like. Um, but you do need to list your three real references for education. You would need to put that you plan to attend Carbondale High School if that's where you're planning to attend. Or if you're planning to attend another high school because you know you're moving, you can absolutely put that as well. And just put that you plan to attend that. Okay, let me know if you have questions and great luck. Bye.